French are to l'amour, toujours l'amour. What happened to that? What's love? What does that mean? What does that love, mean? All love, love. It's all about romance, and you know. But that's what they're saying. Is the romance it, it, because the marriage holds that it's you know they say it's too institutional, very square, yeah. and very a civil religious. Union is not a civil union is not because no, it's easy it's to get a, a civil union and it's easy to uh, end in a civil this union. this country, the reason the gays are fighting for marriage it has to do with finances and money. It has to do it has with everything. Right. Yeah. It's not just the title. So yeah. people don't seem to understand that who are against gay marriage. They're doing it not because they're so religious. Did the well, laws cover? cover all of that in France? Is that why? Well, that's, I don't know what they the French want. Well, in France, it, the civil unions allow couples they to they get to file the tax returns, they, all and the stuff that they're getting. Yeah, the yeah, the stuff that they're getting. Yeah, maybe. Now, you know, you can apparently resist the urge to pig out. I don't know how I made that transition, but I did. You can resist the urge to just pig out just by thinking about it. Yeah. Now, research published in the New Science magazine found that more people imagine themselves wolfing down candy or cheese, yep. the less likely they are to actually do it. Yeah, this is, this is a trick that models have been using forever. No, but this, this is, this is an interesting have been using for, Never mind. Typically, <laughs> typically people say... eaten the big bear bowl of chocolate and then they don't eat it. But doesn't this go against advertising then? Because advertisements put ideas and things in front of us all the time, right? right. So you see that chocolate ad, all of a sudden you're thinking about the chocolate. I feel like it makes you eat and buy more it chocolate. Makes you more. I'm always I don't know if that study's accurate. Anytime I visualize myself eating, I'm eating like this. I, I'm, it's never me sitting down, cutting it in small bites. It is me eating it and I people, still eat that like that. They have people sit that. down, right? So imagine sitting down and imagining eating cheese cubes. This is what they have them do. Or M&M. Yeah. And they found that in this study, when you came out of it, that the people who did the imagining, eating the cheese cubes, picturing 30 M&Ms going to their body, ate, I think it was two-thirds of the amount when actually presented with the real right. deal. Right. And it, apparently it's because you ha it's a memory. It's all about the memory of it. Because they also did this uh, test with folks who have that... Uh, memory loss that they don't remember five minutes what the, what happened before so mm -hmm. they would come in and feed them and say time to eat and the people would not remember eating and think that they were hungry again That's interesting. so it's all about what your body memorizes but it's do you remember interesting. what topics we just did? I don't yeah, know. I, I do. do. <laughs> I do. I must. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I can't remember. Well. But I'll know. tell you this, here's a topic you don't hear about much the iPad will be under a lot of Christmas trees this year. It's causing a dilemma for men because the size of the, you know, iPad, men are carrying it around in something called a Merce. Yes. There's, there's they have an ad of this. A man. A, a, a man purse, you know. So, yeah, okay. Uh, who knew? Um, so, we had Bill Getty, the fabulous Bill Getty, do a photo shoot to see how much of a problem this really is. Now, that's good. That's kind of like a male satchel. You know? No. No. That, yes, you know what? what? This that is was, the look. That's, that's okay. Yeah, that's the look. It looked like, like it could have been on the back of a horse or yeah. something. Yeah, Because yeah. exactly. the zebra thing didn't work for you. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it would be like you in a wig. It just right. doesn't work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would be bad. You gotta be careful with it. Wait. Oh, and now a word from our sponsor. With cold season upon us, it's inevitable our little ones will get sick, and as a parent, we'll try just about anything to relieve their coughs and aches when they're under the weather. We will slave away over a hot stove to make chicken soup. <laughs> we'll run a hot shower and stand in the bathroom for hours and hours in the steam with them. And we will do just about anything and everything imaginable to try and get them to take their cold medicine. So, with the holidays approaching, you need to be prepared for your child's unexpected cough and cold, and that's why you should have Vicks Vaporub and a Vicks humidifier on hand, because Vicks has been trusted by moms for over 100 years. When used as directed, Vicks Vaporub starts working instantly to soothe coughs for children two years old and above, and so you will be caught off guard this holiday season. Vicks is giving members of our studio audience their own jar of Vicks Vaporub, Vicks Vaporub cream, and a starter.